You think the Scream franchise is just a bunch of teens getting slashed, right? But hold on, it's not just blood and gore. We're talking real life serial killers, Hollywood A-listers begging to get killed off, and scripts getting flipped because of real world tragedies. So if you're ready to have your mind blown, let's dive into the unknown and shocking facts about the Scream franchise. Number one, the real life nightmare. You know how the first Scream movie had you locking your doors? Well, the film was inspired by Danny Rowling, the Gainesville Ripper. This guy went on a killing spree in Florida, and his gruesome acts caught the eye of Kevin Williamson, the film's writer. Williamson was so spooked that he penned the script for Scream. It's like the horror jumped straight out of the police files and onto the big screen. Number 2. The Drew Barrymore Shock Factor Drew Barrymore, America's sweetheart, was supposed to be the star of Scream, but plot twist. She insisted her character get killed off in the first 15 minutes. Why? To mess with your head, that's why. She knew her early exit would throw everyone off and make the movie unpredictable. And let's be honest, it totally worked. Number 3. Real Pain, Real Screams Skeet Ulrich, who played the twisted Billy Loomis, didn't just act. He lived the pain. During the final showdown, he was actually stabbed in an old surgical wound. No, it wasn't planned. It was a freak accident that added a layer of realness to the scene. So those screams you heard? Yeah, they were real. Number 4. The Unscripted Line Matthew Lillard, who played Stu in the original Scream, improvised one of the most iconic lines in the movie. Remember when he says, My mom and dad are so Totally unscripted. It was so good, they kept it in the film. Number 5. Alternate realities for Scream movies. The Scream franchise is known for its complex and moving parts, and it's no surprise that each film had alternate endings or changes from script to screen. Here's a rundown of some of the alternate realities for the Scream movies. Scream 1996. Dewey was supposed to be killed off, but Wes Craven had a gut feeling and shot an extra scene of Dewey getting into an ambulance. Talk about a game changer. And Randy actually shoots his shot with Sydney in the original script. A date over a Meg Ryan flick? Classic. Scream 2, 1997. So, you thought you knew who the killers were? Well, get this. The leaked script was a total fakeout. Derek and Hallie as the killers? Nope, just a decoy. The real shocker? Cotton Weary was supposed to snap in off Gale and Dewey. That would have been a jaw dropper. Scream 3, 2000. Stu alive and kicking in prison? That was the plan. But real world tragedy at Columbine changed everything. Another wild twist had a fan club of Woodsboro kids as the killers. They all fake their deaths and rise up at the end. Mind blown. Scream 4, 2011. Jill, the new final girl, almost happened. The original ending had her getting away with it, setting the stage for Scream 5. But the box office had other plans, and Jill's reign of terror got axed. Scream 2022. Chad was a goner, but then he wasn't. Why? Because Mason Gooding is just too darn charismatic. And Dewey? They actually shot a scene that could have saved him, but decided to stick with the gut punch of his death. Number 6. The Columbine Effect You think Scream 3 was just another sequel? Think again. The movie had to be rewritten because of the Columbine High School Massacre. The creators didn't want to be insensitive or add fuel to an already raging fire, so they toned down the violence and reworked the script, making it one of the most socially aware entries in the franchise. Number 7. The Confusing Fifth Installment Scream 5 had everyone puzzled. Was it a sequel? A reboot? No one knew. The creators played it close to the vest, keeping fans guessing until the very end. It turned out to be a requel, a mix of a sequel and a reboot. It was like they hit the refresh button but kept the essence of the original series. Number 8. The Sixth Sense of Horror Just when you thought you had the Scream franchise figured out, Scream 6 comes along and flips the script. This installment featured not one, but multiple ghost-faced killers. It was like a whodunit on steroids. The movie kept you guessing until the very end, making it one of the most unpredictable entries in the series. Number 9. The Mask That Almost Wasn't Hold up! The iconic ghost face mask wasn't a last-minute find in a costume shop. 
The mask was actually discovered during a location scout. Wes Craven and his team were so into it, they decided to make it the face of the franchise. Budget constraints? Nah, just a lucky find that turned iconic. So forget about that different mask and white robe story. This is how the haunting ghost face came to be. Number 10, The Secret Cameo. You might have heard that Carrie Fisher had a voice cameo in Scream 3, but that's not the full story. She was actually on screen playing Bianca, a receptionist too salty about losing roles to, well, Carrie Fisher. It's a full-on appearance with a meta joke that only Scream could deliver. Number 11, The Hidden Wes Craven. Wes Craven, the director of the original Scream, made a cameo in the first film, but he didn't just show up, he showed up in style. Craven appears as a janitor named Fred, wearing a sweater that looks suspiciously like the one worn by Freddy Krueger in A Nightmare on Elm Street, another film he directed. Number 12, The Title Mystery. The franchise we know and love as Scream was initially going to be called Scary Movie. The big wigs and the creative minds had a huddle. They thought Scary Movie was too cheeky, too playful for the blood-curdling screams they were about to unleash on the world. They needed something that hit you like a ton of bricks. And then they bottled up pure horror and a dash of satire, and boom, Scream was born. But wait, there's more. That tossed aside title, it didn't end up in the Hollywood graveyard. Nah, it got resurrected in the most epic way. It became the name of its own parody series, Scary Movie, which kicked off in the year 2000. This franchise took the mickey out of Scream and every other horror flick you've ever loved or hated. Number 13, the voice behind the mask, who's calling? I'm gonna slit your eyelids in half so you don't blink when I stab you in the face. You'll you know that creepy voice that asks, what's your favorite scary movie? That's Roger L. Jackson. But here's the kicker. The actors never met him until after the movie was done. They wanted to keep that fear genuine. So when they're talking to Ghostface, they're really talking to him on the phone. Authentic terror, anyone? Number 14, the fast-paced script writing. Kevin Williamson wrote the original Scream script in a remarkably short period. He completed the screenplay in just three days, and it was this script that got the ball rolling for the entire franchise. Number 15, the stab movies within the movies. In a meta twist, the Scream series features a movie within a movie concept called Stab. These fictional films are based on the events of the Scream movies and serve as a clever nod to the self-aware nature of the franchise. Number 16, the voice modulator evolution. In the first Scream movie, the voice modulator used by the killers was a simple device. However, as the series progressed, the technology became more advanced, allowing the killers to mimic other characters' voices. It's a bummer, it's me. That really was the best choice for the movie. <laughs> Adding another layer of suspense. Number 17, the box office success. The Scream franchise has been a massive box office success. As of 2022, the films have collectively grossed over 600 million worldwide, making it one of the highest grossing horror franchises ever. So there you have it, the untold facts about the Scream franchise that go beyond the screams and the masks. But remember, in the world of Scream, nothing is ever as it seems. Who knows what secrets the next installment will reveal? Stay tuned.